just joined like a few months and he is now on his way to becoming a CC5, right? He completed a CC5. Uh, and then he has improved a lot since he joined a few months ago. Let's give him a round of applause again. <laughs> so my friends, my name is Ricky. Welcome to PJ Toastmasters. I'm sure you have heard of this story before or something like this. One day, I walked down the street, I saw one construction worker. I asked him, Apang, what are you doing? He told me, take a look at this tower. I'm building the tallest tower in the world, taller than any KL tower. Then I walked further down to the street, and I saw another construction worker. And I asked him, Apang, what are you doing? Then he told me, <laughs> he replied me, are you blind? Don't you see I'm working all day long to put food on the table for my family? Two different workers, two different answers, maybe two different attitudes at work. Now I used to think that the first person, the first worker, was having a noble mo motive and mission in life. And I used to think that the second worker was just getting by, just going through the motion. But in real life, in real cases, I've been proven wrong times and again. The first guy may be just daydreaming, th thinking about this tower and that tower all day long, but never got down to action. But the second guy, he knew exactly what he wanted. He knew what he needed to do in order to achieve. And he also, most importantly, he, he was working on it, he was taking action. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how many of us here also have our own, know our mission very well in our life? I'm sure all of us know where we are heading to. All of each of us has a mission in life. At least a general idea of what we want to achieve out of our life. But then why is it sometimes we tend to drift year after year, one new year resolution after another, only to find we have achieved nothing much at the end of the year. Maybe it's because we have not focused ourselves in the mission that we set in the first place. Or maybe it's because something distracted us, then we, have, we got distracted by other things in life. Now take an example in Toastmasters, this platform. We joined Toastmasters because we want to improve our communication, we want to improve our leadership. But as we progress, we get better and better. We start to win awards, best speaker awards, best innovator awards, and so on. And at that time, if we are not careful, we might get carried away and get distracted by all these awards, titles, recognition, and keep chasing after them. Then as we progress also, we get more experience and we start to take on leadership roles. And at that time, if we are not careful, we might also be distracted by positions, power, even self-glory, instead of serving our club members. I think so far in the past two years, I still remember my own personal mission. As a Toastmasters member, I, I joined Toastmasters to learn to speak and learn to lead and also to speak in order to lead. Now as a club leader, my mission is to serve you all, the members, and strengthen this club and bring up the next line, line, line up of leaders so that we all can sustain everything, uh, any, all the good things into the future. For the purpose of this speech, I wrote down my mission, thankfully. In fact, I encourage every one of us to write down our mission, to clarify our thought. My brothers and sisters, knowing what we want is one thing, but remembering it is quite another. Knowing our mission in life is one thing, but keeping it at the top of our mind is quite another. It doesn't matter we are building towers or just aching, aching out, earning money. 
As long as it is a good and worthy mission, that is worth going for. And then at that time, if our if we put our mission first, put it first things first, this mission will be able to guide us in everything we do. And this the mission will keep us focused toward the success we want to achieve out of life. I wish you Happy New Year and let's start an awesome new year. Thank you so much to our president, Ricky Su. Please give me a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so before anything else, before everything else, I would like to ask you, do you have the agenda on your hand? Yes, can you please ra raise the agenda and wave it in the air so that I can see it, because none of you who don't have. Okay, thank you so much. So I have something to amend right here. So the first one, the project speech evaluator, we will change to Jocelyn Lim, Advanced Communicator Bronze uh, Competent Leader. And project speech evaluator, the third evaluator will be SK Liu, Advanced Communicator Gold, Advanced Leader Silver. And fourth evaluator will change it to Dave Ling, Toastmaster Dave Ling. So please bear in mind, we have these changes. So first of all, welcome all of you to PJ Toastmasters Club 155th regular meeting, Mission First. And my name is Jerry Wong, and it's my pleasure and privilege to be your Toastmaster of the evening, or the so-called as the MC of this wonderful occasion. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, before anything else, I just want to ask, do we have any new guests here? Could you please raise your hand? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. New guest, I mean new to PJ Toastmaster Club. You have you do not have any Toastmaster record in your life. One. Raise your hand. Yeah, no problem. One, two. Coming you have, huh? Yeah, Mandarin Toastmaster Club. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have to explain the store the history of Toastmasters. 